Today we are going to summarize the book titled The Richest Man in Babylon by George Samuel Classen, Sit Tight and Enjoy. Imagine wandering the ancient streets of Babylon, a city of grandeur and riches. In the heart of this legendary city, there lived a man named Arkad, whose fame as the wealthiest man in Babylon was known far and wide. But how did he amass such wealth in a world where many struggled to make ends meet? Join us on a journey to uncover the timeless secrets that turned a humble scribe into the richest man in Babylon. Our tale begins with Arkad addressing a group of eager learners, each yearning to discover the path to prosperity. He starts by sharing a simple yet profound principle, start thy purse to fattening. Arkad insists that no matter how modest your earnings, you must set aside at least 10% of your income before anything else. This is the foundation upon which Arkad built his fortune, and he believes it's within reach for anyone willing to embrace it. But what sets Arkad apart from the rest? How did he manage to save and invest wisely when so many around him squandered their earnings on fleeting pleasures and frivolous pursuits? The answer lies in seven cures for a lean purse, as shared by the man himself. 1. Start thy purse to fattening. Imagine a purse slowly swelling with gold coins, representing your disciplined savings. 2. Control thy expenditures, learn to distinguish between wants and needs, and ensure your lifestyle aligns with your financial goals. 3. Make thy gold multiply, discover the power of investing your savings wisely to watch your wealth grow exponentially. 4. Guard thy treasures from loss. Protect your hard-earned money by avoiding risky ventures and seeking advice from those experienced in wealth management. Number 5. Make of thy dwelling a profitable investment. Consider the benefits of property ownership versus renting, a concept still relevant today. Number 6. Ensure a future income. Invest in opportunities that generate passive income, ensuring financial security for you and your family. Number 7. Increase thy ability to earn. Continuously hone your skills and knowledge to boost your earning potential. As we delve deeper into Arkad's wisdom, we meet the goddess of good luck, who Arkad believes favors the prepared. Luck, he argues, gravitates toward those who have savings to seize opportunities when they arise. But Arkad's teachings don't end there. He unveils the five laws of gold, which govern the process of wealth accumulation. 1. Gold comes gladly and in increasing quantity to those who save at least one-tenth of their earnings. 2. Gold labors diligently for the wise owner who invests it wisely. 3. Gold clings to the cautious owner who seeks expert advice for its management. 4. Gold slips away from those who invest in unfamiliar ventures or trust tricksters and schemers. 5. Gold flees from those who chase impossible earnings or act on inexperience and romantic desires in investments. With these laws, Arkad presents a roadmap for wealth building that spans centuries and remains as relevant as ever. Our journey through Babylon continues with tales of ordinary people who transformed their lives through these principles. We meet Bansur, the poor chariot builder, who learns the art of lending gold and earning interest. Mathan, the wealthy merchant, reveals the value of investing in real estate within the city walls. Dabasir, the camel trader, discovers the importance of seeking expert advice to avoid financial ruin. Throughout these stories, one theme resonates, the significance of knowledge. Seek wisdom, educate yourself, and learn from those who have mastered the art of wealth building. As we approach the climax of our journey, we encounter Sharanada, the luckiest man in Babylon. His tale teaches us the power of perseverance, patience, and resilience in our pursuit of financial success. The road to wealth may be winding and fraught with challenges, but with unwavering determination, anyone can achieve their financial dreams. In the end, Arkad imparts a final, invaluable lesson, wealth is not meant to be hoarded but used to improve not only your life but also the lives of others in your community. It's a testament to the enduring wisdom of the richest man in Babylon that continues to guide people on their path to financial prosperity to this very day. So, 
Step into the ancient world of Babylon and let the wisdom of Arkad and his fellow citizens inspire you on your own journey to becoming the richest version of yourself. Thank you for watching. If you love this video, please share, comment, and subscribe for more.